So if you watched my last couple of videos, you saw me installing this 200 watt solar panel on the bed of my truck. And I'm gonna talk about the system, a little bit about the installation, and just kind of show you guys the components and why I'm doing it. Check it out. So for the install, I used Super Strut because it's super cheap compared to a lot of other custom bed racks and things like that. Um, and just so you know, I will be building a full rack that raises it up, but um, this is just a temporary solution, kind of proof of concept to get the panel on there and make sure the system all works and actually get some use out of it before I build my whole rack. To mount the strut to the bed, I actually have a tonneau cover that has these uh, T-slot grooves. You can see them here. So I just use some T-bolts and fasten them here. And I just use some L brackets here to connect to the strut. I put some, I don't know if you could see them. No, you can't really see them. But I put some rubber, rubber bushings in there so that it would reduce some of the vibration while driving around, especially in the quarry because I spend a lot of time off road. Now, just for testing purposes, I have this ran through my window because I'm fancy like that. Um, but again, I just want to make sure that it works and that the system functions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the components. Okay, so inside the cab, I have the DJI Power 1000 power station, and it provides 1024 watt hours or one kilowatt hour of power. You can see it's at 99%. I'm currently pulling 72 watts from my solar and my fridge, which is the main purpose why I installed this, is pulling 29 watts, 30 watts right now. Um, it is late in the day, so my solar input is a lot lower than it is um, earlier, you know, midday when the sun's bright. I actually ran this while it was cloudy and not super cloudy, just a just a light haze kind of and it ran at the lowest i saw early in the morning was 35 watts and when even when it was still cloudy later in the day it was still pulling around 60 70 watts and the fridge pulls maximum 45 watts but it is not constantly running it's running right now because i just turned it back on i cleaned it out for the weekend because i didn't feel the need to run it if i'm not going to use it over the weekend. Let me show you that fridge. So the fridge I'm running is a set power 16 quart portable fridge and it can run off of AC or DC. I have it running on AC right now through the power station. Um, it's currently 57 degrees in there but like I said I just kicked it on just to kind of show you as an example of how much it's pooling and and that type of stuff. Um, I normally have it set to about 35, 37 degrees, and the compressor will run a few minutes at a time periodically throughout the day to keep it cool. Um, the cool thing about this system is, you know, the hotter it is, the more it runs, but the hotter it is, that normally means the sun is out shining, so I'm drawing in a lot more power. Earlier today, while I was at work, in full sun, I was pulling in, I think, 185 watts from my 200 watt solar panel which is pretty good. I am running currently uh, 20 feet of power cable from the, from the panel to the battery. So there might be some loss there, but also just your general efficiency from, from running solar. You know, none of them are 100%. So as I mentioned, this is a temporary setup for it. I will actually be running the cable down between the bed and the cab and under this carpet, right about somewhere around here, right in the middle, there is a rubber grommet um, with an access point. So I pop out the grommet, or better, puncture a hole in the grommet, which is what I've already done to run my CB, which is here. So my CB actually, the antenna cable comes all the way down, goes under here, through that grommet, and then up between the bed and the cab, and out to the antenna, which I'll show you guys that right now since you're here. So I've got my CB antenna mounted on the tail. 
it gets actually really good reception back here and having the tonneau cover gives it a nice flat surface to bank signals off of. So pretty sweet setup. This was provided by Rago. I say provided by as if they gave it to me. I bought it. Um, it's a cool little mount. Fits right here. Mounts right up in there with these four bolts. Super low profile. Doesn't stop this from closing. And I actually ran the CB cable goes down this groove all the way down right out there and then back up underneath the cab. So that's basically where I'll be running these cables. I just have them kind of here, but I'm going to tie them, secu uh, secure them with some zip ties or something like that. Run it down along with those and out that grommet. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about this fridge. As I mentioned, this is the set power 16 quart portable fridge. Got some water in there, some seasoning that I threw in there for my lunch today. Not that it needs to be refrigerated, but it's a nice little fridge. And the best part is I don't need any ice. I can pack this full of food and water and be good for the whole day or even a couple days. No problem. The reason why I chose this fridge is because it is super affordable and the ratings are actually really great. So I figured why not? I wanted something with a proven reputation, which I'm not sure Set Power has, but they do have a three year warranty on the compressor. So that's the main thing that would be faulty if, if anything. So I figured why not? It was 135 bucks on Amazon, which I think was on sale. I think it's normally like 159. Even at 159, it's a killer deal for a portable fridge, especially when you're comparing prices to say something like an ice co and it works. It works really well. Um, so I'll be putting links in the description to all this stuff. And, um, you know, they are Amazon affiliate links. So I get a few cents if you buy something there. Uh, no pressure, nothing like that. I'm not trying to push anything on you guys. It's just kind of a nice to have. So hopefully you guys like my setup. Um, I, I love it. I think it's great. Uh, I've got a lot more to do, you know, building the full size bed rack. It's going to raise it up. I'm also going to build a, a roof rack so it's nice and level all the way across. I might throw one more solar panel up there, probably just 100 watt, um, just to get me some extra energy when it's a little cloudy outside. Because it, even though I'm only running the fridge right now, eventually I would like to run some other things. Um, the DJI power station is very capable. Um, it can put out 2000 watts consistent power and like 4000 watts peak. So it allows me to run things like compressors or a shop vac or something. I get a lot of dirt in my truck and both of those things would be really handy. Um, also being off road, you know, maybe I want to air down my tires, air up my tires, change a tire. The compressor would be great to be able to run. Um, and the DJI power station can handle it. So that's about all I got for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you have any questions, just ask and I'll try to answer. Catch you later.